Hi guys, today at Alpha with AI, we are going to be doing a very super interesting experiment with Grok, right? So generally I use Notebook LM as a tool for earning season whenever I am reading multiple conference calls because it is really super crips, especially with their custom report and audio clip, audio podcast features. Since last 15 to 20 days, I've been using Grok especially for this purpose and I am honestly thinking about shifting my approach to Grok for very specific cases. I will be explaining one specific use case here in today's video. Whenever you are analyzing any company, let's say you are an analyst and you have under coverage one particular company. Let's say in the previous conference calls, the management is saying something and in the current con call, it subtly changes few things very subtly they are even harder to notice with the naked eye right and many analysts often do this mistake whenever they are reading the previous con calls and now current con calls they often miss this change in shifts and this change in shifts this change in tones could be a sign of missing guidance or some kind of a surprise in future earnings right so actually spotting these shifts identifying these change in tones things which happened during this conference call things which have said during this conference calls could be a real game changer could really be a sign to create alpha right so that is the use case i will be discussing today what i will be showing to you is i will be analyzing current company con call with the previous quarters con call and i will be spotting and comparing each sentence each point with previous con call and we will be seeing how any change in shifts happen or not and we will be analyzing that with a very good reporting dashboard by giving a very nice analyzed advanced prompt to grok today i will just start now i will just paste this prompt this prompt is you can see you are grok a senior research associate data engineer and front-end architect your task is to read two quarterly earning call con call transcripts current quarter or previous quarter and generate a single fully responsive html dashboard and the prompt is universal for any kind of company whether it could be a global company us company indian company and then there are specific instructions on what it has to do so this is a super super refined prompt there are multiple iterations that i have done over last three weeks so now this prompt we will be using today let's say we will analyze reliance industries right reliance has two earning con calls in this financial years right quarter one and quarter two of your fy26 so i will just do next thing is to upload these files right so there are recent files quarter one of your fy26 and quarter two of your fy26 i will just upload this right so everything is uploaded and now what i will do is change the shift here to expert so it is already set to expert right and then i will just click execute and let's see what grok does so i'm not sure how much time this thing is going to take let's see i haven't selected deep research particularly because we are already feeding everything that it needs to know we don't want it to go outside and source and analyze some information right so it has immediately started this html dashboard and let's see how it does let's see how much time it takes so over the next month or so i'll be analyzing few more use cases of using grok and the best part about grok is grok is completely free to everyone right I mean, of course, there's a super gap version, which is very cheap in Indian context, only 700 Indian rupees. If you compare that with the chat GPT subscription, so chat GPT go is completely free, but many features are not present in grow. So if you want to compare Apple to Apple, then the comparative plan of chat GPT will be its plus plan, which is about $20. So comparing this with grok it is super affordable almost one third the cost of a chat gpt subscription right so let's see how it does so now it has created html then it's and uh, what i will be doing i will be making one more use case in the next video that use case will be probably 
one of the most difficult things I used to face as an analyst was to create interactive dashboards, create interactive charts, especially while making equity research reports, right? So these charts used to take a longer time because I have to do it many times manually through Excel and Excel has so many different raw data Excel files and I used to make those interactive charts completely through Excel. So I just I'm just trying out Grok to make these interactive charts over last few weeks, right? And it has completely changed my mind about Grok and its capabilities. And I'll be showing how I use raw data to make good interactive analyst like charts through raw data basically using Grok. So that will be the next video that we will be coming up with in our Grok for financial research AI series. Right. Now we can see the whole HTML file is created. So let's see how the results look. So I will just hit a play here and let's see. So you can see the overview, which is a six panel visual briefing, macro pulse, demand outlook, margin trajectory, retail categories up 17 to 17 to 23% year on year garden stone, QA surprises. So in QA surprises, QA is not fully provided. Focus on business fevers and stability. Capital allocation. Net debt is flat. So let's see what is this message shift map. So this is a special part of the prompt where whether Grok can spot any shifting in the management tone. So in the previous quarter one, you can see we will start with Geo actually. And here the emphasis is on the deep tech digital services. And here what I mean is that we have proprietary technology. And so far as the tech stack is concerned, core is concerned, hardware is concerned, the infrastructure and the traffic, we are the largest carriers of traffic in the world. And if you look at the number of customers close to 500 million or the number of homes we are in, all that is facilitated because that is a pretty unique and importantly, it allows us to do and offer product and services, which are really not offerable by others, especially when you look at it as it is, what the difference standalone FISI stack does for all this. And when you talk about the digital platforms capability, and all this is translating in terms of when you see the performance, it is 19% growth in revenue and 24% growth in EBITDA. And now let's see current quarter two, we have seen the results, strong performances across the businesses. And even within each of the businesses, the quality of numbers has just been improving quarter on quarter. And we'll look at starting with Geo with 18% growth in EBITDA on the back of strong customers and both mobility as well as home. So the point here is, what is this exactly? I've read it. Maybe you didn't understood much. So if you go and see the comparison, the first point is shift from 19% revenue and 24% EBITDA growth. Here you can see at the last, it is a 19% growth in revenue and 24% EBITDA to Geo quarter one to 18% EBITDA in quarter two. So subtle moderation in geo growth emphasis, the moderation just see 24% growth in EBITDA to 18% growth in EBITDA and management seems happy with it. So you can see now tone and intent of the radar. So this is the pointer which Grok provides on the basis of its analysis. So quarter one was positive again, quarter two is positive and it has given its, it's a score 0.85, 0.82. And if you go into metric tracker, what it does, this metric tracker, it's consolidated revenue, you can see. So quarter to 10% up despite lower oil prices. Then consolidated EBITDA, PAT, GEO EBITDA, retail revenue. Every segment basically is compared with the previous quarter. You can see revenue drop aligned with cash profits and investor playbooks. So this is the conclusion of the analysis. So positive and green shoots. So retail accelerated to 18% revenue growth with strong category performance. So geo sustained subscriber additions, 
rural 5G has been up, up taken new energy on track for production and mine stores fmcg doubling continues with t merger and progress and if you go into risk and red flags what you can see is upstream production decline persists lower oil prices pressured revenue so prices were low but still you can see here in this point quarter 2 was 10% up despite low oil prices then finance costs are up 14% from 5g cap capitalization then modernization moderation in geo ebitda growth from 24% to 18% so this was the biggest shift in the change in tone so i will tell you how this shifts so whenever management project some kind of growth so let's say in last quarter they projected a growth of 24% but now they are happy with even 18% of growth it looks like they are then it is it could be a sign of margin contraction in the future results as well so this is the biggest thing i got out of this analysis and then potential delays in new energy scaling could weigh on capex returns watch for oil volatility and competition in retail and fmcg we have built something that makes financial research feel organized every analyst has data very few have system and we have turned that system into a free tool you can explore today it includes all the ai financial guides including perplexity notebook lm claude it includes claude financial modeling skills claude financial research guides prompting strategies for financial analysis complete ai equity research toolkits IPO analysis dashboard prompts, insider trading dashboard prompts, institutional style financial models, a super analyst prompt and framework library which consists of 50 plus more advanced prompts. How to access it? Go into our store and explore our pro version as well as our free basic version now and see how it feels to be organized again.